Hello sweethearts, welcome back to my channel. How? Oh, happy new month. <laughs> I hope the month of June tree said everyone okay. If not, don't worry, this month will be better. So we hope for better days. How are you all doing today? All right, um, quick one, Rush Online. Thank you, my brother, for your response. I appreciate it, okay? I appreciate the fact that you took out your time to respond to me. That was, um, you know, Cutsy, you're right, and I also saw what you did there, but that's okay. <laughs> you should have just made your point, you didn't need to start indirectly disrespecting me, okay? But it's fine. Um, my most important part of your video is this part where you said, So, that video I put out was to show those who were calling for the immigration to go after Nigerians who are not documented to go back to their country that hey this is what happened some time ago and this was the actions of the Nigerians that is actually what that video was intended to portray and not the other way around so if you feel I hate Nigerians this is what I did for a fellow Nigerian now I ask, put it in the comment section. As a Nigerian, what have you done for a Ghanaian living in Nigeria? What have you done for a Nigerian even living here in Ghana? Have you been able to ever help a fellow Nigerian out like I did for your own? Hell no. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So, Honey, to be honest, if you had said this in your video i'd be mad to come and start reacting to it and trying to share my advice on why you shouldn't be instigating hate on that particular video i don't have a problem with your videos you're doing the right thing i love it when people you know open the yash of all these nigerians and the, the, the silly things happening in nigeria i do it myself too but sometimes for my mental health i slow down okay so Thank you, that part is my most important because a lot of people misunderstood your video. I personally misunderstood that video, all right? So now, you've explained it, but we don't have to go into your head to know what you're thinking or go into your heart to understand what your intentions are. So running a channel is important. You voice out what your intentions are so that people will not go guessing wrongly. Personally, I guessed wrongly, right? And I'm sure there are also few people who, there were few people who also guessed wrongly, thinking that you were trying to inflict hate. Mm -hmm. And I never said you hated Nigerians. I said you were inflicting hate on that particular video, the way you presented it, because it happened five years ago. Thank you, Raj, for making your intention known in your response. So I appreciate it. Going forward, try to always let your intentions know and um, one advice okay uh, you should tame your ducks mm -hmm. some of your um, viewers who uh, some of your subscribers or viewers rather who get disrespectful calling people names on the comment section you, it's your duty to you know caution them respectfully and don't entertain it it's as if they are helping you say what you don't want to say by yourself that is how I say it but that's okay uh, Thank you once again for making your intention known. And you told a story about what you did for a particular stranded Nigerian girl who inboxed you, blah, 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 and stuff like that. Oh, thank you. You were really a, a good Samaritan and it is very, very nice. It was nice of you to really be there for this you know, young lady. Uh, what I didn't understand was the part where you were asking me to tell you what I've done for anyone in Nigeria or in Ghana. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, the way I laugh when I when I heard that part of the uh, video, I was like, "Hello, <laughs> hey, boss, you don't want to know, honey. Trust me, you don't want to know. <laughs> I'm a queen. I, I, I it would be so low of me, all right, to come to your comment section, start listing the things I've done for people. Hey, honey, we don't do that." Queens don't rule like that, okay? But just know that I've impacted lives. I've done things for people, okay? 
strangers. I lived in Ghana for six years, six freaking years. And trust me, I touched lives. I've impacted lives, okay? And then Ghanaians too have also shown me, you know, love. I've also had my ill experiences with some Ghanaians, but I don't count those things. They don't matter to me. My focus is always on the positive side. I'm a queen of positivity. I don't think of or remember remembering the people who did me wrong as Ghanaians. I focus on the people who do who treated me better. And hey, please, I've, I'm a person. I'm a private charity organization. I run it. It's just between me and my God. So if I come to your comment section to start listing the things I've done for people, <laughs> then I've ruined the whole idea of what um, I'm doing with my God. So please, but just know that I can't even remember all. Like if I want to start listing the things I've done for people, honey, um, the video is going to be too long. And your comment section will not be enough to contain it. That is how much of a charity woman that I am. So just because we don't come online to brag or make noise doesn't mean we don't do nada, okay? So please, if you do something for people, um, don't use it as a yardstick to measure anything. You can, you could have still said, oh, I love Nigerians. Um, um, I'm just not comfortable with what they are doing in my country, which everybody's not. I personally am not. If you follow, you said you've been following me, you should have known that I've always kicked against the silly things that most of these bad eggs are doing in Ghana. I don't like it. I've never liked it and I won't start now. I was only telling you that that video came out the wrong way. It, it came out as if you were instigating hate and you shouldn't do that in your channel. You know, and I didn't mean any disrespect whatsoever. So you twisting it, you didn't even play the video like for your viewers to understand where I was coming from. You just played the video like presented it like I was telling Ghanaians to accept anything Nigerians are doing and become oh Charlie, please, if by all means you want to be violent and be timed as um, criminals like Nigeria, some Nigerian guys, oh please feel free. <laughs> I'm a mother, I'm a queen mother. It's my duty to make peace. It's my duty to apply, always make sure that everybody's in order. These Westerners are penetrating us today because we keep dividing ourselves. So if we get united, do you know how much power we, we would have over the Westerners? But you people don't get it. You know, you just feel, oh, because I'm not here every day shouting and insulting and going off bunkers with um, calling names and all that against Nigerians in Ghana, then I'm supporting what they do. Everybody on my channel knows I don't support what these people are doing in Ghana. Never have I supported it. I was only saying you people should not maybe get down to their level to be termed as the same as them. But if you want to be like them, Charlie, I beg you, <laughs> fire down. Okay, so thank you for presenting it the way you presented it. My focus was your intent, which you've made known. So I'm putting it in here also so that people would also understand that your intent wasn't to inflict hate, rather, it was to bring the notice of um, the people who were thinking immigration officers were not doing anything. Look at what happened. Because if you had done that initially, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Well, thank you because I don't know how it's related to asking me what I've done for a Nigerian or a Ghanaian. <laughs> but that's okay. The question was really funny, trust me. And anytime I remember it, <laughs> it cracks me up. It cracks me up big time. But it's your own um, kind of understanding, and I get it, honey. So please, it's not everybody that is facing the camera um, talking about these things. It's not everybody that is useless, all right? Uh, for the records, I've never received one dollar from YouTube before. So maybe, I don't know, maybe you and some of your um, the subscribers think that I'm feeding myself or my children or I'm paying this huge rent because of um, YouTube money. <laughs> I've not started receiving my money yet from YouTube. So don't think YouTube is feeding me. Uh, YouTube is going to be paying my bills someday. I know that. But for now, I just want to use a wider um, space to voice out the things that are not going right, right? So, and of course, I spend money. On, uh, you don't want to know how much I spend on my monthly unlimited subscriptions. You don't want to know how much I spend on 
on you know stuffs paying prepaid meter and stuff so if i'm to be any money from youtube um as a return of the sacrifices i'm making to speak the truth out there don't you think i deserve it yeah but i just want you and your subscribers to know that youtube money hasn't started entering my account yet charlie so if, if i close down this channel today charlie i'm a, I'm a, I'm a still ball all right so, yeah, so please don't get that impression like oh everybody else facing the camera is lazy this is all what you do i'm a hustler you don't want to know i'm a multi-skilled woman i'm a multi-talented woman honey i'm 40 freaking years so don't think i'm one of the nigerian girls who would leave their country and go without any skills without any qualifications without any papers and then go get stranded for some and start inboxing some young man for uh, help or start going to do um olosho work in the land and stuff no sweethearts <laughs> i travel around the world all right and i legalize documented in any country that i'm moving here i'm documented i pay my taxes so don't underestimate everybody you see opposite the camera in front of the camera it doesn't roll like that i can't even underestimate you like i can't even come and start maybe weighing you because you're in front of the camera and that's okay this one there he'll be jobless and stuff so we shouldn't really be doing that okay because when we do these things it sends the wrong message again but it's okay i understand and um so thank you rush online i appreciate everything you did there <laughs> yeah it's okay with me these things that really bother me honey my most important focus is that we get it right we don't have to repeat the sins of our fathers and we don't have to spoil our own and keep allowing the westerners to keep penetrating us all right okay so thank you for watching guys and i would have added i would have loved to add this voice note on this particular video but it's gonna be really long it's long so I'm gonna be sharing it in the next video it's about a response to my previous post about the Ghana must go and Nigeria must go and I would really appreciate it if you guys watch this video when I post it and listen to this voice note till the end all right a viewer of mine who had just won my respect by sending me this long voice note with detailed information of everything he knew about the incident that happened between the two countries back in the years when i wasn't even born and i really appreciate this so much so guys please do me this favor and make sure that when i share that video the next video you're gonna watch it okay thank you so much and always always let love lead okay <laughs> if this is your first time here and you're seeing this face for the first time my name is ella chilaka i am the otema of the ashanti kingdom ghana all right one and only so yeah please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share my videos give my videos some thumbs up so that youtube can you know equally suggest them for other viewers okay i really appreciate your time i appreciate your love i appreciate your support and oh i i saw some of my um subscribers or uh, some of my viewers who um kept their comment respectful at uh, uh rush online's video i see you guys and i i appreciate that a lot and i love you so much so for the ones who went or you know disrespectful and all that it speaks you know a lot about them it, it says a lot about their upbringing which i never believed was the way Ghanaians were raised you know but then some bad eggs wouldn't change my views about Ghanaians. So yeah, that is exactly my point. You shouldn't be letting the bad eggs uh, from Nigeria change your views about the whole Nigerians. We are, all, we are not all that terrible, you know, but it's okay. So guys, I appreciate the love and the support and trust me, we're gonna keep speaking the truth no matter how it makes people feel. We're gonna have to get it right. It's our duty to get it right for our future, our children, our children's children. They are not going to come and they're not supposed to grow up and meet this whole everywhere going haywire and then westerners stealing from us so we're gonna get it right thank you and enjoy your day and i wish you guys every single blessing that comes with the month of july all right i'll see you guys in the next video i love you